Welcome to another Build Day Live video here at Cohesity. I'm Alistair Cook and I'm joined by the Chief Technology Officer Field, Global Field, Rawlinson Rivera. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's always great to have a chat with Rawlinson. I particularly wanted to have a, a sort of talk about how the data efficiency works on the Cohesity platform because it's a, a really fundamental thing to making the Cohesity platform useful is that data efficiency and, and uh, not having to buy vast amounts of storage when, when you have to do all this data protection. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty incredible. There's some things that obviously haven't been done. Um, when, you, when you think about storage system and distributed architectures, not all of them are able to or have been able to implement some of the things that we have here. So for example, one of the biggest things that we have as part of our platform is the ability to apply space efficiency features and capability at a global scale. So we are moving away from a single sort of like fault domain appliance per se system. And as our file system scales, so can the capabilities of uh, spatially efficiently uh, deduping or compressing that data. We could do that effectively whether the data is on one of our appliances, whether it be physical, software, implemented, cloud, virtual, doesn't matter. But you got to know that everything that we do, every, t every piece of data that, li that leaves the uh, platform, whether it be in a form of replication, being moved around, before it leaves, it's, t it's deduped and compressed, right, globally. The larger the cluster you get, the more efficiency you'll get as in return. Not only do we do that on our own sort of uh, implementation of our software, but we can deliver more efficiency and value even when you have data stored directly in a cloud, per se, in an S3 bucket, in one of these sort of storage abstractions that are consumed, because we apply the same capabilities that we do on that particular data. So that makes it very, very cost efficient for people to actually kind of, you know, maintain data on this platform because we deliver value not just in the simplification of the things that are doing, but also in the, in the sense of being able to, you know, uh, to maintain and kind of store data efficiently in a much better way. So to reiterate on that, you've got at cluster level, you're doing global deduplication across all of the nodes within the cluster. Mm -hmm. But then also at the multi-cluster federated view, where you've got Helios managing this this replication between multiple clusters, that's still the replication is still deduplicated and compressed data yes, efficient. Correct. And then when you're using an external storage as as a destination for any of this, the data at rest in that external storage is again efficiently deduped, compressed looked after all the way through. Correct. So the, the thing is that, for example, with Helios, so like for example, when you, so when you mentioned federators, obviously we, we're keeping clusters that are different entities within themselves, right? Um, so within those different clusters, th that efficiency level is applied within. Whenever you replicate data from one cluster to another, the data that's being replicated, obviously the initial ingest is a, is a big one. Mm -hmm. After that, everything will be deduced and compressed. And also, it also, you know, we, we get to the point where we only send the, the, the change blocks across. So when you think about, you know, in a multi-cloud world, not only the space efficiency that we're, we're dealing with when the data is stored, but also sending data over and traversing. We actually introduce this, uh, a way of cost savings there too, because that way you don't have to deal with the, the, the charges of, you know, moving data in, in that particular process. Obviously, the, the initial one is a big one, but after that, it's all space efficient, deduped and compressed from there on. And then presumably, uh, you know, quite often clouds have a lot of egress charging for bandwidth and that restore time coming back out of that cloud archive, I want the data transfer to be as deduped and compressed as data efficient on that e egress as possible. Not only that, but look, when you're storing data or an application, in a lot of cases you tend to, when you, when you archive a particular set, data set, whatever it is, if it's a multiple uh, data sets, or if it's, there are multiple applications, you have to basically restore the whole thing and take it back. We give you the ability to selectively choose what you want to restore in that particular point in time. So we can catalog and tell you based on a calendar, uh, we retrieve some of the metadata of the actual data or objects that we have protected, and you can actually individually choose and select which ones you want to download so that you actually can avoid that particular problem when it comes to a cost. So that data efficiency across all of the layers, everywhere data is stored and in transit is, is really important. It seems to have been a central design principle for the platform. A absolutely. And another thing that we do actually that's worth mentioning is this. Data efficiency is one, being able to uh, introduce um, that level of cost savings in one thing, but also yeah. data resiliency mm -hmm. and making sure that your data, if something goes wrong, doesn't get corrupted, messed up or dies, right? right. For in this particular case, you know, we implement strict consistency across everything. So on the platform, whenever we, 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 we do the commits and we apply, it's applied cluster-wide before we actually acknowledge. So yeah. if anything fails within the infrastructure, within one of our nodes or our devices, because it will, things are meant to fail mm -hmm. no matter what, right? 
your data is not ever at risk in a particular case. So that's another additional uh, factor of what we do with data, how we kind of manage and deal with it effectively in, in another way. Great. Well, thank you very much, Rawlinson, for joining us. And thank you for joining us for this uh, Build Day Live at Cohesity video. Stay tuned for more great content from Cohesity.